Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, praise team. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I would serve the Lord. There's not a better person in the world you want to serve. Come on. Come on. I'm Hallelujah. talking about teach you humility. Come on, Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Teach y'all to serve your brothers and your sisters. Come on here, y'all. Come on here, y'all. The Bible say, who want to be chief as a ball? The one who know how to serve. If you don't know how to serve, you ain't no big chief around him. Hallelujah. I'll serve him. Hallelujah. For the rest of my life, Lord. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Father God, we just be so careful this morning to give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor, Father God. Father God, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you over and over and over and over again, Lord. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Thank you when we got out that bed, we landed on our own two feet, Lord. Hallelujah, Father God. Thank you, Father God. We are able to open up our eyes and our mouth, Father God. Thank you for letting us, Father God, allow us to give you a wave offering this morning, this morning, Father God. Thank you for you. Thank you for family. Thank you for the body of Christ. Thank you for bringing us from out of darkness and taking your light. Thank you for life and life in abundance. God, thank you for eternal life. Thank you for our faith and our hope. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Father God, we thank you for all the good you declared over us. And Father God, we receive it in Jesus' name, Father God. We love you. We appreciate you, Father God. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Yes, Lord. Let my words be your words. Let my thoughts be your thoughts, Father God. I submit my whole will away to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we love you. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, body of Christ. How everybody doing today? It's good to see y'all today. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Where it's all good. You having any issues through the week, come visit this house right here. Come spend you a few minutes up in here. Now you might go home and might can't find no peace, can't find that client. Come, come to the church. You come here for a few minutes and just release your heart out to God. Oh my God. I love this place. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to be discussing how good the Lord is to us. You know, no matter what you're going through, despite whatever it is you're going through right now, God want to be good to you. For real, though, everything you're going through, some things you're going through might be a test. That means you're going to come out of that thing. That means you're going to come out of that thing. That's right, it's only temporary. God want to grow you up and mature you. God don't want us to continue to be ignorant and foolish and continue to do the same thing. So some of y'all get whooped in the foolishness and the ignorance just for to grow you up. He got to mature you. We all need to be mature. Hallelujah. We all need to be mature in God and God love. Hallelujah. Come on here, y'all. Come on here. They got some people out here, you know what I'm saying? You be worried about how people look at you, how you are. Man, look here. Don't worry about who you was yesterday. Just worry about who you is today. Who you is going for. Oh, if you was a thief yesterday, man, you, you can change that by what you doing today. Start doing better. Whatever you was doing, cancel it. You ain't got to worry about that. You, your name, God, to give you a new name. Just like he gave Saul. Come on here. God, to give you a new name. Just like he gave Jacob. Come on here. God will change your life overnight. Matter of fact, your life already started changing. That's right. Your life already started changing. A lot of y'all, y'all wouldn't listen to no, see, y'all was like me. Y'all wouldn't listen to the gospel. Y'all wouldn't listen to nobody. Minister to your hearts, to your spirits. That's right. God got you right now. God captivating you right now. God wants your attention. You want God man. God wants your will for to be his will. God wants you to love him because he's your father. Like any father or mother, we want our kids to love us. We want, that's how God is. It hurts your parents when you don't love them back. Oh, man. Now, if your parents did everything they can do for you, I'm talking about they get a right and left leg for you. Matter of fact, tell me the fuck they give their life for you. Man, and y'all want to despise your parents. 
You want to look at your peers any other way? You want to disobey your peers? Man, come on, man. God said, I ain't going to force you to love me. He said, but I'm going to love you. That's right. They got people in the kingdom, but in the devil's kingdom right now. God putting them out of the devil's kingdom. God showing them a real love is. Yeah. God showing them a real they ain't never know what real love is. Devil, they sell people who was entertaining devilish spirits. People. Not the devil himself, but people. God loved those people. God want to put those people from the darkness into the light. But the crazy thing is that God, when he put those people, they come to it, they come through it, they let you know what it is. They let you know, yeah, the devil, what the devil meant for evil, God meant for good. So all the tricks and schemes, they, they have come back and tell you all the tricks and schemes of the devil. Because they was working with them. But God, you to turn their life around. Just like he used you to turn your life around. Because all of them were out there doing works that, of the enemy at one time. Even if it was out of ignorance or whatever, don't, don't act like you was perfect at one time, like you didn't have this thing together. A lot of us still get it together. I'm still get it together. That's right. That's right. Don't let nobody look down on you and talk to you no any kind of way. You keep striving because guess what? If you take a peek in their life, what's going on? What, what you doing? What you trying to get right? Now, what you praying to God in the cleanse you up from? Oh, they don't want to talk about that. Come on, man. God want to be good to you. God want to love you. That's all he want, but he ain't going to force you to love him. For real, when Jesus come back, he, 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 God ain't going to see the hell because he hates you. He hates the sin and all that. No, he's going to see that that's where you wanted to go. You chose not to love him. You just chose not. It ain't, it, it's just a choice. You just chose not to love God. God say a wide over here you go, but you got free will to do what you want to do. You got free will to love how you want, who you want. I'm not going to force you to love me. But it's your choice. So when Jesus come back, you ain't going to come with me because you ain't want to. It was your choice. So you need to make the choice where you want to go, where you want to be. You want to be with God? Tell me you want to be with him. Yeah. Who don't want to hear? You don't think God want to hear something? He know what you're thinking already. He knows what's in your heart already. You can't hide nothing from God. God know your thoughts. God said, I knew you when you was in the belly. I knew you before you was even born. Ain't nothing you can hide from him. He just wants you to have a repentance heart. Just turn towards him. Turn towards him. Look, turn towards Jesus. Turn towards the way. Turn towards the light. Hallelujah, y'all. Y'all start spending more time with God. Take y'all a few minutes out. You know what I'm saying? Take your 20 minutes out. Go on y'all so fast. Huh? Take y'all fast. Every, you know what I'm saying? Take your say, man, I'm going to take this week and I'm going to take a 30 minute fast. You can pick your own time. Look at that. I'll free you with it. You can pick your own time. <laughs> well, I'm a time of the day. Man, spend some time with God. Go get in this word. See what God telling you. Stop being all stressed out because of what the world telling you. Being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Go and let's see what the Lord is saying. Let's get stable in the Lord. For real, stop letting everything worry and discourage you. Come on now. If all of us get to that point, all of us should all of us get worried. You know what I'm saying? The devil will come hit you when you least suspect it. But once, the, like once you call on Jesus, everything starts to line up. Oh, Jesus. Once you call on Jesus, everything starts to line up. We all, we all get caught off guard sometimes. The devil, man, the devil be there forever. He watches you like a hawk. He know when you slipping up. And then when you ain't at your best, when you feeling weak, he know this. He know that some of y'all get so much stressed out, you won't tell you to cry. Some of y'all throw up. Some of y'all go to the doctor, man, call on Jesus. Call on Jesus. And the crazy boy, you will be stressed out about stuff, and God be to work it out. Oh, my goodness. And you'll be like, man, I was so stressed. Oh, man. Oh, man. And all we had to do was wait patiently on the Lord. Say, if you wait patiently on me, I'll give you strength. Just wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning we're going to be talking about the blessings of the Lord. How good the Lord is to us. How good the Lord want to be to us. And I'm going to give you some scriptures for the go off of. Oh, scriptures today too. 
first scripture we're going to be reading is Jeremiah 29 and 11. Oh, no, that's good. That's good.
meditate some of these scriptures and meditate on these scriptures. How good God is to you. The good that God wants for you. Just meditate on the goodness of God. That's all I want you to take some time out this week and meditate and think about the good things of God, the goodness of God. Don't focus and meditate on nothing negative, nothing evil. They always got evil stuff. God say evil guy, they got enough evil for the for the day. They got enough evil for the day. Man, let's not even think of focus on evil at all. Let's just focus on God. Come on here, y'all. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming from the Father of lights. Every y'all know what I love about God gifts? You don't have to add nothing to them or take them from them. Because they're perfect. Every good gift and every perfect gift. So these things you should be praying for. God, give me every good gift, Lord, that you promised me. Hallelujah. Give me every perfect gift that you promised me. That's what you should be praying for and telling you right there. Come from who the Father of lights, for whom is no bearers. Need the shadow of turning. That means you know what I'm saying. He the same God yesterday that he is today. And forevermore. He ain't switching up. That's right. He ain't playing the back and forth game. He ain't trying to do fix. He the same God. Come on with the, with the same promises. The same blessings. His blessings don't change. His promise ain't changed. Come on here, y'all. I'm just saying, this is the God we serve. You know, we ain't serving no man. Man change up all the time. Hallelujah. He change up according to what he, what he think is good. Come on here, man. Stick with God, y'all. Trust in God. Believe in God. No, man, people are disappointed. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? People are disappointed. We all humans. We all human. Don't be, you ain't got to get disappointed in human. Put your faith in God. Put your, you know, man, if you, ask, if you ask somebody to do it, put God on it first. Yeah, trust the God in that person. You know what I'm saying? Look at the, for real, though, somebody say, I'm going to come do something for you. Don't do it. It's okay. But talk to God, God, I need this done. I need this done like yesterday, God. Man, the God to send you somebody that, that's way better. See, it's sometimes we've been for certain things and certain people to get out your life. So that's why they don't come through like they supposed to. Because God got some news he's trying to put on the scene. But you know what I'm saying? You want to stick to the same tradition. But God say, nah, I'm trying to bring something new on the scene. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person used to help you like this, but I got somebody else that's, 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 that do a great job too. I'm going to give you two for one. Everybody, when you can't call on one, you can call on another. See, some of y'all got to get out there. Yeah, you get out there. Thank God to God. Put your faith in God. Well, you know I need this done. Hey, y'all, thank you for game. God always listening, y'all. Long as your heart and mind is on, as long as your heart on the right place, my God, don't honor what you're saying. God, don't honor what you're thinking. I'm telling y'all. Hallelujah. Isaiah 41. He said, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. God said, I want to strengthen you. I want to help you. I want to uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Y'all understand what the Lord said to y'all? All right, come on, let me behold, all they were instance against you shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. So God said, I'm going to turn your enemies to nothing. And they that strive with you shall perish. Come on here, man. It's like, don't you see them? They won't even be found. Your enemies won't even be found. The people that spoke against you, the people that put their mouth on you, God say they won't even be found. God say you can go look them up, go look them up on here and there. What is it? And they, and they shall be as nothing. And there's a thing of nothing. Find the Lord your God. We'll hold your right hand. He said, I'll hold your right hand. That sounds like a true parent to me. 
Fear not. I will help you. Come on here. He said, I am the Lord and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I make you a new sharp threshing instrument, having tea. God said, I want to make you something new. I want to make you something better. Come on here now. Come on here now. Come on here, y'all. Come on here, y'all. Y'all can't tell me the Lord don't want to be good to us, man. Come on here. The Holy One of Israel. Man, come on here, y'all. Come on here, y'all. I got, a, I got just a couple of more. And then we going home, bless. We're going to go over the numbers. Chapter 6. Hallelujah. We're going to go over the numbers. Chapter 6. And we're going to start at the 24th verse. Hallelujah. He says, May the Lord bless you and protect you. This is a blessing directly from God. May the Lord Himself bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you His favor and give you His peace. I'm just saying all these things. How can you think of anything negative or evil when it's dealing with the Lord? I mean, whatever you're going through right now, God is just seeing how you're going to act and react to the situation. Yeah. Is you going to continue for the fall or you going to stand strong in me? Yeah. Come on here. The Bible says come with the whole word of God. Oh, yeah. man, come on here, y'all. Y'all got to give God something, man. Come on here, y'all. Y'all just can't hide that God when you're in trouble all the time. Come on, now that can't be the only time you want to come see that church. But then after you get out here, you go represent the kingdom of the devil on every, every platform. Man, that ain't what's up. That ain't, if you know, if you out there, you like that, you 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 go out there and you represent the devil on every platform. I mean, we got platforms. Ain't nothing for you to say Jesus Christ on your platform. But if you can't even mention the name of Jesus on your platform, come on now. Come on, you can't straddle the fence. I ain't no neutral spirits. <laughs> ain't no neutral spirits, so I'm just in the middle of chilling. No, you ain't. It's hard to tell you. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. Hallelujah. Right, two more scriptures, y'all, and we might go home because I got a lot more for y'all. Yeah, we might go home. All right. Third, John 1 and 2. Say, beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. So God wants your physical, spiritual, financial, mental. God wants you to prosper in all these areas. God want God is concerned about you in every which way possible. Hey, God say, I don't want your mind messed up. I want your mind to prosper. Yeah, yeah. I don't want your mind to be all over the place. Yeah. He say, he say, you come get in me. Come read. Come, come focus on me. Come get your mind on me. Come get this abundance of peace in your life. Come get this direction in your life. Come get this understanding in your life. Yeah. God say, I want you to prosper. I want your soul to prosper. Come on here, y'all. Come on here, y'all. Hallelujah. 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 God say, I want you to prosper. That's what God wants us to do, to prosper. So when you're going through something, say, God, this must be for my good. You won't, must want me to prosper. Yeah. But you want me to prosper. Come on here, y'all. God be having us on mission and we don't even know it. Yeah. When y'all go places, y'all should be looking.
for somebody to see the God in you. You are for real, no people. All, man, let me tell y'all. At first, they'd be thinking, boy, they see me. I'm a big They want to think I got money, but it don't be that. Man, people come up and they be wanting conversation. They want to. They want to know that God love them. You know what I'm saying? They don't be people see these dirty people. Don't want to touch them. Don't want to pray for them. For real, no. Like man, they just want to be loved too. They just want to be loved too. Man, sometimes all it takes is a prayer. For real, though, like the man of God said, he was going through the gate, and he told that man, well, I don't have money to give you, but I got something else for you. That's all I be want. I be want you to put the man, be in agreement with me. Speak some good into my life. Like, come on here, y'all. I don't be knowing these people. They don't be knowing me. Come on here, y'all. Y'all just not here for your own self. You ain't just to go out here. America think it's about the money. This is called capitalism. So everything, America break up a household behind money. They are for real, everything, if they can get a man and a woman to work, I, sometimes if they really be, beneficial for the house or beneficial for the United States. Who, I'm just saying though, they get two incomes out of you. You know what I'm saying? Rather than y'all be in one house, sometimes it takes just one house and one function under one roof, one understanding. It don't always take for two people to go out and have to work like dogs. Come on, my friend, let's get some understanding with God, because sometimes God wants something different for you. Sometimes you don't got to work that hard. Sometimes you just working that hard, because that's the faith you got. I got to get that dog going to kill myself for the gift that God said, no, you don't. God say, no, you don't. Man, when those people came from uh, from out of Egypt, they were filthy rich. They were they God gave them that. Come on here, y'all. The Bible say, I get it. God say, people already planted, I give you that. And you ain't even got to do nothing for it. You ain't even got to do nothing for it. I'm just saying, my God want to be good to us. God want to be good to us. Now I got some more. But we're going to save it to the next time. It's about, why do we receive any blessings? It's just being patient. Wait on the Lord. In the middle of receiving these blessings, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient and you gotta wait on the Lord. You wait on the Lord. Lord, all kind of beautiful, wonderful things happen. For real, though. Spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. Just wait on it. That's the word for the day, y'all. And I just wanted to share how good God is to you. How good God want to be to you. If you're in the darkness and you don't know what darkness is, just call on God, ask him to reveal it to you. Ask him, God, am I in darkness? If you try to come out of the darkness, just call on Jesus. Get in somebody's church. For real, get in somebody's church. Start going to church on Sundays. Start going to Bible study on Wednesdays. Call on the Lord. Tell the Lord, Lord, show me you. Yes. If you want to know if the Lord real, tell the Lord, Lord, show me you real. Show me. Let me know you real. If you want the Lord to talk to you, walk with you, yeah. talk to him and tell him that. Lord, walk with me then. Yeah. Talk with me. Let me see you real for myself. Yeah, Come on here, man. If you want to experience a whole, whole ultimate type of love that you've never experienced in your life, I ain't going to go. If you empty in any area in your life, like Jesus Christ will fill every empty area in your life. He'll fill every void, every hole. I'm trying to tell you, y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you something. Y'all. God loves you. God wants you. God just wants you to love him the way he loves you. God wants you to love him how he loves you. You know what I'm saying? He just wants you to love him for the father he is. For the good father he is. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, thank you for this word for the day, Father God. Thank you for you and you alone, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being our saint, our deliverer. We just give you all the praise and all the glory. We ask to let this word settle on front, Lord. We just thank you for Tina cleaning, cleaning up our lives on an everyday. Thank you, continue for growing us up and maturing us. Every day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we love you, we thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, if there be anyone here, I was call, anyone here that would like to be saved, anyone here who is not saved that would like to be part of
part of the family of God. You would like to receive God. Like to receive Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. Would you please come up? There's anybody that need prayer. Prayer about anything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Would you please come up? If there's anyone who'd like to intercede and pray for someone else on their behalf, would you please come up? There's anyone here who would like to be filled with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Would you please come on up? We'll be glad to have you. There's anyone who would like to join the ministry of love, the love lights. Please come on up. We welcome to you. We welcome you. If there be any importance of hurting until the call of the Lord and the blood is off our hands in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's get ready for tithes and offering. Tithes and offering. Don't try to short the Lord either. I'm going to be on you every time I get up here. Don't try to short the Lord. Man, they gave God all kind of offers back then. All kind of offers. What kind of offer do you give God? They gave God a burnt offering, a wave offering, a peace offering, a meat offering. Oh, man. They gave him all kind. Then they gave him the best. They gave him the best. God want to give you the best. Don't shock God. For real, though. Don't take any money and run out with you in the closet. I'm, look here. Bless the Lord. I'm going to tell you all the time, I don't need a dollar from nobody. I don't need nobody, but if God takes good care of my whole family, this is for you. Yeah, this is between you and God. That's right. Show God what's in your heart. For real, for real, though. Test him. That's right. Test God. Try God. See what he bless you. See what he give you what it is you asking him for. Try him. Bless him. The Bible says God opened up doors. No man can shut. No man can shut. But what's for you is for you. When God opened up the door for you, it's for you. Hallelujah. Everybody stand with your tithes and offerings. Size enough in the air. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, we come before you, Father God, humbling ourselves, Father God, just presenting our tithes and offering to you, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, just for taking care of us every day of our life, Lord. Lord, we thank you for giving this seed, Father God, and praying, Father God, and we thank you for growing this seed, for watering this seed, Father God. And let this seed be uh, more than enough for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for supplying everybody, every need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're still in cheerfully bring your tithes and offering up. And if you can't or uh, you're not here physically in church, you can go to Give the Fire. And you can pay your tithes and offering on Give the Fire. It's a great app for to pay your tithes and offering on that keeps. It keeps account of all your papers and everything you do. Hallelujah. 